production of EST 80 to 66 microcontroller. Let me know you how to get started with this EST 80 to 66 development board. We are going to use here the Arduino IDE to write custom firmware that is going to be downloaded on the board and executed. And the material that, we, that uh, required for this tutorial is the development board itself. Development board itself. And uh, I have taken this uh, solderless breadboard because it is very easy to use. And another thing we require is micro USB cable and the ESP trap A model. You need only the Node MCU Lua ESP8266 ESP12E Wi-Fi development board. It has several benefits of using this board. Rather than the model, it comes with the necessary circuitry that manages the voltages on the board and it is having the translator chip by Silicon Lab and this is the necessary circuitry which manages the voltages and uh, it is really very really good that it manages the 3.3 volt on the board and the UART, uh, USB to UART interfacing makes it very simple to connect the computer. To configure the ESP8266, we require the AT commands. And the AT commands are saying via serial UART interface. This is the list of AT commands uh, shown on your screen. I'll tell you how to configure the ESP8266 with AT commands in the next tutorial. For connecting the USB to ESP8266, we require the USB to UART driver, bridge driver and it is downloaded from Silicon Lab. Go to the computer, right click, then manage. We are checking if the driver is installed in our device or not. Go to the device manager. Then check it out. Yes, the silicon that bridge driver is already installed here. And if you are not having the driver installed, it indicates indicate uh, near the sign like this. For downloading the driver, go to the sidebar and depending upon the OS you are having, you can download this file. Driver. As I am the Windows user, I have downloaded this one. And if you are the Mac user, you can download it. And about the Arduino IDE, it is compatible to the ESP8266 Node MCU. To download this software, go to the website Arduino.cc. Then go to the software. After that, see here is the Windows file, and as I am the Windows user, I will download this file. And depending upon the operating system, you can download other files. Okay, just download Windows file. Click on the just download. It will take few minutes to get download. Now install the board software. I have already installed the Arduino. Now install the bridge driver. Go to next. Then accept agreement. Next finish. You need to add the additional board manager wire. For that open the Arduino. Then go to the file menu. Then preferences. Copy the URL. And paste it. Okay. You can get the URLs from video description also. For connecting the ESP8266 board, go to the tools, then board. If you are not having the board, then download it. Go to the board manager, then type here ESP8266. Take few minutes for downloading. 
our board is installed here so now i am closing it again go to the tools and then connect the board we have to connect this node mcu 1.0 esp12 e module connect it then it's time to check the ports see our esp is connected to the com port 10 in windows it shows the direct uh, port number and if you are a mac user it directly gives the name of port now i am going to upload the program for which we are doing these all things so go to the file menu then example basics and then blink this program is given here this is for Arduino, and we have to modify it for our ESP8266 so I am making some changes here 16 16 is the pin number where our inbuilt, inbuilt LED is connected here also and here then it's time to upload it takes few minutes for uploading I can show you that while the uploading program, blue LED is continuously blinking like this. Once the program is completely upload, 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 our red LED is start blinking. And you are ready to work with ESP8266. You can also connect the external LED to the board. And I have already connected the LED on pin number 8 with respect to ground. Then we have to go to the file menu then example basics and blink we have to make some changes for this LED blinking so I am replacing this LED button with 15 as our external LED is connected on pin number 15 that means our D8 is connected with pin number 15. And upload it. It will also take few minutes. Once the program is uploaded completely, our external LED start blinking. And this is how you are ready to work with ESP8266. Enjoy the same and thanks for watching.